everyone. So I wanted to show you how you could create a uh, intercompany sales order where they're missing the location and then you need to unpair. Unpairing in that suite of intercompany sales orders is really not the most efficient, not the funnest thing to do, but I want to show you the proper way to do it so that you have it here on record. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the intercompany sales order and I'm not going to put a location on it, which as you know, when you don't put a location on it, you can no longer edit the intercompany sales order and you can't assign a location, which makes it obviously very hard to fulfill. So I'm going to grab this first one here. This is for Japan. Let it create. I'll pause the recording while this is processing and we'll jump back in once we're at the sales order. Okay, so we're back now. The sales order has generated. Let's go ahead and click into the sales order so we can see what's happened here. And when we click into the sales order, we see it's been created. There are no location here at the line level. So there is no way to fulfill it. We can't fulfill the sales order. Um, we are also on back order here, obviously. Once this gets committed, um, you would still not be able to fulfill it. Um, this particular environment has a setting that doesn't allow you to fulfill uh, anything that's not committed. Uh, but notice, even if I tried to add a location here, it's just not going to let me. So let me show you here. If I try to add a location at the line level or wherever I try to set it, it just will not let me. Add a location, so let's do virtual. And try to save this. And we should get this error message here. Item account location subsidiary cannot be updated for intercompany transactions. So. Uh, this is, there's no way around this. This is what it is. This is how NetSuite works. Um, not sure if there's going to be enhancement in the future, but this is what it is. So in order to unpair this, what we have to do here is we actually need to have uh, both of these transactions um, available. So let's uh, cancel this. I'm going to have the PO open first. And the order in which you do this is important. So make sure you follow this order. So we've got the PO here available. And we've got the sales order here. So we've got both transactions available. So let's first start by editing the sales order. Now, keep in mind, ahead of this video, I went ahead and I created a non-inventory item for resale called Unpair. And what you'll actually have to do here is go through and change every single one of these line items to unpair. And I think I'll need to enter an amount here. So let me make this a little smaller. Zero dollars, unpair. Now this can be quite tedious, especially if you have multiple line items. So ideally, you don't want to run into the situation, but if you do, this is how you would fix it. Okay, so we do unpair, and notice here, the, the intercompany status here, it's paired and it's got the field number. Once we click save, we will see that this intercompany status will change Sorry, so it won't, it won't change yet to, to pending, but what you do see is available now when we open the sales order in edit mode is that we can, in theory, now remove the pair transaction. Now, if you click save here, what's gonna happen, let's see here once we save it, is it will put it right back on, right? So you're like, well, I can't take it off, what do I do, right? So what you actually need to do here is go to the purchase order. I've opened it in edit mode. And unfortunately, you're going to have to do the same thing again. Here. So for this, um, for this purpose, I recommend uh, that you take a screenshot of 
what you were removing. Again, this is extremely tedious. This is the only way you can delete the pair transaction. So you don't want to get into the situation. But if you do, this is exactly how you would get rid of it. So let's go ahead, take a screenshot of that. Let's save it here on my other screen so that when I need to rebuild the PO, I can now rebuild it again. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to do the same thing similar to what I did on the PO. Okay, one zero, one by one, unpair. Again, you can name this item to be whatever you want it to be. I just kept it simple. It's a non-inventory item. It must be a non-inventory item. It's the only way that this will work. Okay. Notice, still paired here. Let's go ahead and save it. Now you notice it has changed to pending. It is no longer paired, which will then allow us to go back to the sales order. I'm going to refresh it, but it will allow us to go back to the sales order and it is now gone. And now you can do one of two things. Uh, which I recommend is delete the transaction. And we'll start with that. Um, otherwise you could have um, saved the transaction or, or do whatever you want, close the transaction, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. Uh, please ignore this error. This is just a, a custom script we have on the not working, but now you notice the record does not exist. And unfortunately now our, our uh, purchase order here will have to be redone. But in this case, let me show you, you can, you can simply delete the purchase order and start all over. Now you can do that if, if you wanted to start all over. If it wasn't a big deal, if it was one line, line item, it wasn't too much, you can come back in here. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna add one of the items back on. But in theory here, I'm just gonna confirm this is a different rate, 194, 180 units. Okay, you can go ahead and now save this transaction. Again, here you would add all, all line items back on and then recreate the interest company transaction uh, with the location, which I'll show you now. Um, but just for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna show you how to do it on one line item. So we'll go manage our intercompany sales orders. We'll select our intercompany uh, customer here. Obviously the currency gets set and very important, Make sure to set a location here um, on it. We'll select our PO. We'll go ahead and generate the sales order and let that run. I will uh, come back as soon as that's generated. So now we have the sales order created. Now it has a location on it. See it on the line level once we go down. And we see the line level here. Obviously, our unpaired in a company items are still there because I left them on there. But for the purposes of this, I just wanted to show that. And it is now paired. So I'll go through the process of unpairing it again um, just to get this fixed. But that is the way you would do it. Another recommendation that I have that you could do alternatively, um, this is a bigger business decision. Um, is to make the location mandatory on your sales order form. Uh, now, I say this is a bigger business decision because there are sometimes scenarios where organizations don't have a location at the time of sales order creation that's assigned later, um, either through an automatic location assignment or through uh, just a, you know someone assigning it, there's a manual process involved, um, a workflow, whatever the case is. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, that is a good solution to be able to even fail the intercompany sales order because no location is set. It's, it's a little bit of a uh, check on the, um, on the process when you can fail the order. Uh, but that is how you unpair. I hope this video is helpful and uh, thank you for watching.